Rob, you're right. Um, can I get an update first on your injury situation? Where are you at, especially with the three lads that went off against Spurs? Will they be available tomorrow? Don't know. We haven't trained yet, so we'll see how they are. We'll train this afternoon to try and give them as much time as possible. So, uh, a couple of them are very doubtful. Maybe we'll get one. Maybe we'll get two. Who do you think might be like? I'm not going to give you that information no. right now. Sorry. So they're 50-50, all of them, all three. Would you say? Not 50-50. Some are more than that. Some are 50-50. Okay. And then some of the other ones, obviously, got ten. Everyone else is out. Everyone else is out. Yeah. So just be. Possible. So it could be 11, 12, 13 players out. Okay. All right. Um, Moving on to the game then against Arsenal. Um, it was a bit of a goal fest last time out against them. Um, could we see another repeat, do you think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, they're, uh, they're pretty, their defence is pretty stubborn. They don't give much away. It was a bit of a unique game. As sometimes it can be at Kenilworth Road. Um, they're in great form. And um, especially since the, the, the sort of break around uh, January time, they've come back and been incredible. I know they didn't score on the weekend, but they scored on loads of goals and obviously very, very difficult to break down. Uh, Mikel and, and the more, all the players are doing an, an amazing job. So, uh, look, if we're able to go and score three at the Emirates, then we're, <laughs> we're doing pretty well. Um, we'll. We'll try and be us. We'll try and be the best version of us. And it's difficult at the moment. Um, but yeah, the last one was a really exciting game. We might have to be, you know, we, we're going to be lower this time. We're going to, we know that they're going to, it's such, so good with the ball. They're going to force us lower. We're going to have to defend really, really well. And, um, you know, we can do a lot of work on that. And um, yeah, we'll see. Has this been like maybe one of the toughest weeks, and especially with the fact you've got so many games coming so quickly this week, and the injuries that you've got at the moment? Do you always have a half an eye as well on, on the Bournemouth game this weekend? Because that's you know a side that you know at the Kenny as well. Is it really difficult to prepare for a game on Thursday, a game tomorrow, and a game on the weekend as well? Yeah, they're, they're all difficult, and every Premier League game is difficult, and they deserve our best and our best. Um, preparation and to try and put our best team out. I, I'm aware there's a game a couple of days later on Saturday, but we're not really going to be able to have anyone else that we don't have tomorrow, so it doesn't really make any difference. Uh, on that though, like some of the last three lads that we've spoken about, the ones that went off against Spurs, do you always think to yourself, I don't want to rush them back tomorrow, maybe you know, give them a rest and they might be ready for the Bournemouth game, sort of thing? Yeah, uh, there's, an, there's an element of that, but if they were ready, then I'd, I'd pick them. And if they're not, then I won't be able to. And if we, if they're not, we'll see if we can turn them around for Saturday. But if they're not ready for Wednesday, then there's a big doubt for Saturday as well. Um, it's just you know, it's just where we're at. It is, yeah. It's the it's the biggest challenge I've ever had. Aside from a real serious incident that we had with obviously our captain, it is the most difficult and challenging period I've ever faced. I've never known anything like it. And we're coming up against the best teams in the world in this period as well. So. To be, if I'm being speaking honestly, to be competing the way we did, especially on Saturday as well against another top team, with the challenge that we're facing, we're doing pretty well. That being said, we all want to get points and we need to get points, so um, <laughs> we'll try. But it's it's yeah, it's a really big challenge, not just tomorrow, Saturday as well. Bournemouth are very good, and um, to be to be as depleted as we are, the lads are giving everything. They've been brilliant, brilliant. Um, but it's hard to be your best when you've got so many key players missing. Like you said, you've gone toe to toe with so many teams, you've put on some brilliant displays, your team have been, for many people, you know, neutral favourites watching Luton this season, it's been great to watch Luton play. Um, with the amount of injuries that you've got, do you feel like maybe you might change the approach at any point? Like you start this season, you might have I think it, it makes you be different anyway. You know, on Saturday we probably had around 30% of the ball against Tottenham, I think. You know, I, I looked at us towards the end of January, early Feb, and I'm looking at us. I thought I really like what I'm seeing here at the moment. And obviously, as more and more numbers have gone, it's been more. We tried the message has been the same. We tried to play our way, but it's, it's difficult then to have the, to be at the same levels at times. No disrespect to, to anyone else because that's been amazing. But you, you don't have a certain amount of defenders playing. You, you're putting square pegs in round holes. It's hard to be as fluid or as good as we had been. Um, so. Yeah, that becomes a challenge. But what, what we'll try and do, we'll, we'll still try and be us. We'll try and ask players to do things they can do. And I'll try not to ask them to do things that they're not comfortable with or can't do. Um, but we'll, we'll try as much as possible to, to, to be the best us. We'll try and be aggressive when we can. We'll try and press high when we can. We know Arsenal are going to force us low. And we're going to have to defend really well and be good in transitional moments. 
and that's obvious. They, they had to do it at times on the weekend against Manchester City, so there's no shame in that. Um, it's just that's just because Arsenal are a really really good team. That's that's what's going to happen. Do you think they seem stronger Arsenal? Think they're stronger than the world when you played them last. Season? Potentially, I mean, I think they were very very strong then anyway, and yeah. they were in you know always they've been in really good form. I know they've dropped points here and there, but they've been pretty consistent all season through. And uh, but they look strong in every single department at the moment. They they look like they can. That they are, they're going to challenge for the, the biggest prizes in the world at the moment. So, um, yeah, pretty formidable. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, for the question that my colleague mentioned about the, the injuries, lots of injuries is difficult, but you've seen other players and opportunities, youngsters potentially to impress you and, and the opportunity to play, isn't it? Yeah, there's of course it is opportunity for other people, and um, we've had a, you know a debut from young Zach Nelson. We've had. We're probably going to have four teenagers on the bench tomorrow at least, maybe more. Um, and uh, along with our two goalkeepers. Um, and yeah, it gives off, like you know, Fred, for instance, Fred Oni Dimner, who's, who's um, you know, not, not been involved in the first part of the season and, and now is sort of finds himself involved in the, in the thick of the action. So there's always opportunity for, for players. and. And it's down to them to take them. And you're right, some of those younger ones, they may get the chance in the next few games. And um, when you played Spurs back in October, you managed to challenge them. Um, over the weekend as well, you managed to challenge them as well. When you look at the Sunday performance, what do you think was missing maybe to get to get a point eventually, to get maybe more resilient? Or... Uh, yeah, there was a few things. The first half, we were very good. The only chance they had were from our mistakes. We didn't lock them in from a throw-in. And Werner had his chance. And... We, we got it wrong a little bit from a free kick of ours, gave the ball away and then there was a, the, the, the double post and a couple of blocks, you know, that instant in the first half. Other than that, we were pretty comfortable, um, realising that they had a threat, but we were OK and won the up. Um, second half, Brennan Johnson, I thought, him and Porro, down that right-hand side in particular, I thought they were pretty devastating. and Just some bits that we got wrong, a bit of tracking, a little bit of defending um, in, in key moments. But, um, yeah, to stay in the game the way we did was... Again, big credit to a lot of the players, and you know they're bringing on some pretty good players. That it, you know, they change the game, and uh, and you know again, there's no shame in that for us. Um, I don't want to be defeatist. I want to win games, and we feel disappointed that we did and didn't get something from the game. We put so much effort in, but sometimes you have to hold your hands up and say you know, there was. Um, there was a lot of quality on that pitch there and have a little bit of realisation of where we're at at the moment. But that being said, you know, to concede from a corner, our own corner, things like that, there's bits that we can be better in, of course. Man City at home, they scored in 57 games in a row in a competition and Arsenal managed to stop them. How are you hoping to stop Arsenal? They'll be full of confidence after that performance, also before they won eight in a row in the Premier League. Yeah, well, again, obviously it's a massive task and not many people are able to stop them at the moment. So um, we're, we're aware of the size, the, the scale of the task. Um, but we'll try and, again, we'll try and do what we do. So when we do get moments when we can try and press and be aggressive, we'll try and do that. Of course, they're going to they're gonna force us low, so we're going to have to be very compact. We have to be resilient. The things that I was just talking to you about there, we're going to have to make sure we track, deal with their combinations in the wide areas, deal with the crosses when they put the um, cross in the box. They're very good at that. Uh, but then they can score in any kind of moment, whether it's a counter-attack, whether it's from control, whether it's from a set piece. So we've got to be good in pretty much every aspect of the game. And if we're going to stop them, we've got to be almost per perfect. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll, tr we'll try to be. You get some good results and good performances at home. And travelling to North London twice in just four days' time, a tight schedule and lots of injuries, as you mentioned. But how much do you embrace it? That opportunity? Yeah, we've got to embrace the challenge. but. But we want to be here and we want, I want to be in the Premier League forever and, and we do as well. So yeah, I've said this at the beginning of the season, I don't want to be, oh yeah, let's just enjoy this and you know, a one year and then off we go again. I don't want it to be that. So yeah, I want to enjoy the moment, but we've been here for a while now and this is where we feel comfortable and we're competing. So um, we want to make it the norm. Hi, Rob. Really impressed with them. They've got everything, haven't they? They've got physicality, speed. They've got power, but they they're very well coached. And obviously, they understand the game, um, and they can play 
pretty well as well with the ball. So they, they almost got the lot. I suppose Arsenal Football Club, you'd expect that as well. And it, you know, um, but yeah, they've got such power and athleticism. It's difficult now. They're, they're, they're you know, big reason why they suffocate teams now as well. They, you know, they can lock on, be really aggressive, and um, and uh, yeah, compete in any in any which ways you want to fight. They can have a physical battle, and also they can play as well. Uh, so they've yeah, they, they tick pretty much every single box. I thought they were yeah, they were clearly magnificent on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Just on that game as well, I'm sure you watched it. I mean, what did you make of Arsenal in that game? Because I mean, not saying that wasn't their usual kind of style and approach, I guess, because of the approach they were playing. I mean, did you kind of take anything from that game? Yeah, I found it fascinating tactically. It was really really interesting. Um, we talk about Arsenal with the ball. Obviously, Manchester City are incredible as well. And at City's place, they forced Arsenal. Into a into a lower position, but Arsenal's defensive um, solidity, concentration, and the way they dealt with it was brilliant. But they were they were really aggressive when they tried to press high, and then when they were low, they were excellent. They were outstanding and hardly gave City any chances. So it was a yeah, both sides really. It was a bit of a masterclass in defensively. Um, you know, um, really really impressive. I know for a lot of neutrals and people watching, it might not have been what they wanted to see. Probably rather see a four all or something, but with the stakes so high and what that game meant, um, I thought there were some brilliant performances on the pitch, but maybe not the entertainment that that the public would have wanted to see. But for me, watching it, I thought it was fascinating. Um, just finally, uh, obviously you played Gabriel Jesus that whole wide, and then Saka and Martinelli and Fernandes could be involved. I mean, it seems quite difficult to work out what exactly what they're going to do in those attacking areas at the moment. How difficult is that? To prepare for, they've got a lot of yeah, look, I, I still think whoever they play, I mean, they can be, bring different attributes, but you have a good idea positionally of what, how they're going to play and what they're going to try and do. So um, when we get the team sheet, that's the only time we're going to know for sure. We can have a plan and think they're going to play X, Y, and Z. Um, but until we get the team sheet, we, we'll never fully know. Like, like ours might be a little bit more predictable for them <laughs> because of who we've got missing. But um, they. Uh, yeah, they they won't deviate too much from their plan, but obviously different personnel brings different characteristics. Um, so yeah, it'd be really interesting to see who they pick, who they pick. But we, we we have an idea, and we'll try and plan for that today.